Today we're going to be reviewing the Bole Light Shifter sunglasses. So the Light Shifters are one of Bole's latest performance sunglasses. They were inspired by the Shifter sunglasses which were introduced last year. With these they have a sleeker and more modern design with the oversized lens design but less flashy variation. They're also designed to fit smaller faces better. Packaging wise, really simple. You have a cardboard box with the Bole graphics on here with a black uh, background. So really high contrast, simple information. You have the category, the type of lens, the fit on here. Go ahead and take it out of the box and while I do that, we'll review the specs. Retail price on this is $200. It uses a semi-frameless design with an oversized lens with a large field of view. It features interchangeable lenses that are also vented to prevent fogging. They're also available in prescription, so you can really customize this to match your actual vision. They have adjustable thermo grip nose pads and temples for additional comfort and adjustability. Now you can see out of the box, you get the box, you get a nice carrying case. It's a hard carrying case with the Bole uh, branding on it. Inside that, you get the cloth bag for this. I really like the hard case. It's a great way to transport this without getting damaged, while the soft case lets you clean it and also just throw it in your backpack without it getting scratched. Inside the box, you also get a little description of the categories, a multi-language uh, manual for that. And then the sunglasses themselves. Now let's take a look at the weight of the sunglasses. So these are the phantom lenses and they come in at 32 grams, so quite light. Now let's go over the fit and finish of the light shifter sunglasses. So starting from the front, you can see it has a very unique design to it. It uses a matte black frame for the variation we have. They have brighter variations, but I like the matte one as it looks really sleek. You have a semi-frameless design and that means there's no frame on the bottom, so no rims on the edges with the nose pad just simply being held in place um, with a little bit of pressure. So it's a really traditional look for a high performance sunglass and I like the light shifter for modernizing this bit with this more angular design. You also find the edges have this almost foggy appearance. These are laser etched details and you can see it extends all the way around and adds a nice little visual touch. They also have the Bole logo here and the same uh, laser etching. So a nice premium touch to this. If we look at the side, you can see the temples actually curve down and they, actually, they also curve inward. So this is why they're designed for smaller faces. As someone who normally wears standard sunglasses, these fit equally as well. So I wouldn't let the smaller size scare you away. Uh, they simply provide a lot more comfort and with these thermo grip edges, uh, thermo grip temple tips, you can see how flexible this is. So if you have a larger face, this will simply deflect outward. You also have the thermo grip here for the nose pad. And this has a three position adjustment. So e really easy to get the right fit on the fly. So if you want to switch, you use the share this between people or just adjust it on the road, really simple to do. You have the Bole logo on here and especially with the matte finish, the white on black looks pretty premium and subtle. And now if we let's take a look at removing the lenses. So first thing is, you can pop out the temple, so that pops out. Then you can simply pull on the frame a bit and the whole lens will pop out. So you can see they actually provide quite a few variations of the lens. So you can find the one that matches uh, the one you want. It's also available on prescription with another nice feature. And you can see the vent here as well. So a little cutout for additional venting. Especially with the lenses out of the way, you can see the frame is really not much here. It provides a minimal structure just to hold the lens in place while the lens itself keeps the structure of the sunglasses. Now the best part about these sunglasses is the Phantom technology. This is Bole's uh, special photochromic design. So this is adaptive. Instead of being a single category sunglass, it's actually a multi-category. uses 15 to 32% a light transmission, so pretty good range. That means you can actually wear this in uh, mixed conditions, so foggy as well as brighter without having to switch lenses out. So that's the best thing about a photochromic design. 
So now let's compare the light shifters with some other sunglasses on the market. What I have here are the Oakley Radars. These are the sunglasses that were quite popular about five or 10 years ago. And you can see it's a traditional smaller size. And when you put them side by side, you can see just how oversized the light shifters are, even though they don't look so oversized compared to other models. Uh, they extend quite a bit further down and up. So you, you can see from the front profile, there's a lot more lens here, which gives you a better field of view. Also, it's worth pointing out that the Bolles have a sharper, more angular design, while the Oakleys have more soft curved, uh, curves. So this gives it a more aggressive look. Next, we have the Poc AIM sunglasses. These have the mirrored lens. It's not a photochromic design. And you can see the Pocs look quite a bit larger. And when you put them side by side, they are larger. And with their design extending the lens over the frame, it also gives it a bigger appearance. Again, depending on what style you're going for, the light shifter has a more angular, uh, aggressive design, while the POC is a little bit smoother. Next, we have the Smith flywheels. So in the same way the POC extends over the frame, Smith has extended the lens up and over the frame, but only through the center version. This uses their chroma pop technology for color uh, rendering. Again, quite a bit bigger. So when you put them side by side, you can see it extends further down and further up. And again, styling wise, depends on what you're looking for. Uh, if you're looking for something more sharp and aggressive, that's not, doesn't look as large. I think the light shifters are a really good option. We also have Bolle's Chrono Shield. So the light shifters are actually based loosely on that as the shifter model this is based on is based on the Chrono Shield. So you can see similar elements as far as the curvature of the uh, nose piece. And they also have venting, but different places. Now, obviously with the Chrono Shield, it's huge. It's almost goofy. It looks like a goggle instead of a sunglass. But similar elements, this has a different phantom lens with a little bit wider uh, transmission range. But very cool looking, especially when you come side by side. And again, the Chrono Shield's huge. Uh, I really like the Chrono Shield. But I like the light shifter as more of a uh, daily sunglass you can wear on and off the bike. One of our favorite parts about the light shifter sunglasses is the fact that they have oversized frame, which gives you a wide field of view, yet they have a more subtle and modern design so they don't stand out quite as much. Also with the phantom lens, it's really versatile. It lets you ride in foggy conditions as well as brighter conditions without the need for multiple lenses. They're also very clear with nice crisp optics and the venting prevents it from fogging as well. Now we're gonna grade the light shifters on four different categories, the design, optics, comfort, and finally the value. In terms of the design, we'd give it an A. They have oversized lenses, yet they're still sleek and modern compared to say the Chrono Shield, which are large and retro. These are something you can definitely wear in more conditions on or off the bike. Optics, we'd say an A as well. The phantom lenses are very versatile and allow you to ride in different conditions and automatically adapt. Comfort would give it an A as well. The temples are flexible as well as the nose pads, so it's really easy to get the right fit. Finally, value, we give an A minus. As a $200 sunglass, they're still quite premium, yet with the phantom lens and the clean design, it's something you can get a lot of use out of and wear in different conditions. Thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com, as well as follow us on Instagram at thesweetcyclist. This is The Sweet Cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride.